Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. Today, right now, we're gonna be going inside here. This is the anchor locker on the fore part of the vessel here on board Motor Your AWOL. Uh, a few videos ago, I mentioned about the anchor chain and what is the bitter end of the anchor. So I'm gonna be explaining that further today. I'm also going to be explaining a bit of the terminology that we use here on the bow of the vessel. I'm going to show you some of the equipment we have down here in the anchor locker. So without further ado, let's get inside. Now guys, what's really important to remember is that on any vessel, before you go inside an enclosed space, you need to make sure it is safe. And by safe, I mean it has the correct levels of oxygen, which is around above 21%. Every single year, even today, seafarers are losing their lives for entering enclosed spaces purely based on not having enough oxygen inside. The reason that happens is because most ships are made of steel. It oxidizes, it consumes the oxygen in that particular compartment. So it's really important that you follow your permits to work. You do an uh, oxygen test of an oxygen meter and you ventilate the area you're going into, you know, way beforehand, before entering, to make sure it's safe to do so. So please be very, very careful when you're entering into an enclosed space on any vessel. Right, so guys, let's get inside. All right, let's just get the lights on. There we go. Oop, let's go the other way. Here we go. Right guys, and there we have it. We are now inside the anchor locker. As you can immediately see, we have the fire hose here, which attaches just here off the port side next to the, the windlass on our port side. Here we have the nozzle for the fire hose and we test our fire hoses every single month and then once a year we have our classification society come on board and they'll do their annual inspection uh, as well. Okay, so that's that. Now, we have two anchors on board uh, Motor Your AWOL and the length of chain on both sides is different. The length of chain we have on our starboard side is five shackles. If you don't know what a shackle is, a length of shackle is a little bit over 27 meters. So starboard side we have five shackles and on port side we have four shackles. Um, so you may have seen in a previous video we had Jason painting the chain. So what he was doing, he was painting um, different colors on the length of chain. So every shackle he'll paint it a different color. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link just here so you can see what he was doing. Really interesting video. There's an acronym called Rub Your Balls With Grease. That's the color we paint it. So rub, red, R, your, yellow, balls, blues, blue, uh, with white, grease, green. So that's what, that's what we use. And as I mentioned, so on the port side, we do have uh, four, four shackles as well that sits in here. And I was going to pick up the camera and then show you guys a little bit around us here. So here we have this big pipe here coming down. This is where the anchor sits inside, right? So this is known as the horse pipe, okay? Here is another pipe you can see. This is where the anchor chain comes down and sits in the bottom of the anchor locker here. This is called a spurning pipe. Right, you can see this white disc here and there's a, a motor here right these are the this is the underside of the the windlass um, of the windlass or here on port side so you can see it's quite a uh, interesting bit of kit and you may have noticed which we already do know is we have a we've noticed this we've had a small oil leak there so Slavin is aware that's one of the repairs he needs to do which, unfortunately, which is unfortunate because he's just overhauled it. So I'm guessing it's a gasket or something and nothing too big of a deal, but it's dripping a little bit of oil, which will be sorted, um, hopefully, well not hopefully, it will be sorted by next, before we go in the water, better said. Right, now here, you can see you've got all different pipes and cabling. The one of the pipes you can see comes round is gonna be this pipe here, right? So what we wanna do, sorry guys, 
So what we want to do is, obviously, depending on where we're anchoring, we can pick up a lot of dirt and crap that we don't really want on our anchor chain. So how do we get rid of that? We use a thing called the anchor wash. Now this is the valve of the anchor wash. So basically, inside the horse pipe, we have a high, a high pressure uh, water jet that blasts seawater against the anchor chain. So as it's coming up, it's washing the anchor chain at the same time so all the crap isn't coming on board or here in the anchor locker. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but it's a lot, lot better than not having a, uh, an anchor wash. What we have here, we actually had this redone last year. This is the main um, steel support that is holding up the, um, the windlass on the bow here. So this is then structural. This goes into, into here, structural. And speaking of things being structural, this bulkhead here, okay, this is known as the collision bulkhead, right? So think about it as a crumple zone in the car. So from the bow all the way forward, you can't really see, all the way to this collision bulkhead here is known as the kind of like, kind of like the, crumple zone, the crumple zone, so to speak. So this is known as the collision bulkhead. So this is our pretty much our protection in case we have a collision on the nose at sea. So furthermore, you can see, as I said, I've got some more pipes here. So this pipe basically is a drain pipe from the, the port side anchor on this side. We've got another one on the starboard side. It basically lets any kind of uh, you know, residual water come out here and then goes into this drain down here. All right, and that is the port side. On the starboard side, guys, it's pretty much equal. It's the same. As I mentioned, it does hold a bit more chain. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go back up top and explain to you the different parts that we have on the, on the windlass and their purpose. So let's go up. Up, 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 up. Right, guys, here we go. Right guys, and there we have the inside of the anchor locker. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna explain to you what all these things are over here and what their purposes are. So let's get on it. Right guys, what we have here is known as the windlass. So we'll start from this wheel here. What it does, when the anchor is up, we wanna make sure it's fully secure. So this is basically a braking system. What it does, it clamps. You see there's a metal ring that goes all the way around. And inside that metal ring, it's like similar to like a, a disc brake, like a, like a braking pad, right? And as you tighten it, it compresses the ring together, stopping the whole windlass, the winch, from, from moving. An additional lock that we have is when we engage the windlass here, so we turn this clockwise, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, maybe this side, it's here. Do you see how you got the, the basically you got what I like to call the teeth, right? So you've got the female and the male here. At the moment, the winch, the anchor can go down freely because it's not engaged. So if you tighten this, you'll see it's gonna engage there and therefore it can't fall freely, all right? So those are two braking systems we have on the windlass itself. Here, you can't really see at the moment, it's been removed. We have a third braking system. Uh, so it goes through what we call the chain guide. And attached to the chain guide, when the anchor's locked in place, we have a thing called the devil's claws. So we have three braking points on this particular vessel. You know, three or more is always ideal on you know vessel this size and, and greater. So this has got two purposes. So one purpose is obviously the anchor chain, so dropping the anchor and recovering the anchor. The other purpose is when this is disengaged like this, we can use this drum here as a winch. So what does that mean? We can, because the lines of the vessel this size are quite heavy and you can't just put it in by hand, we wrap a line around here and it helps us pull towards the direction to where the line is attached to, whether it's on the shore or to what we call here in the Mediterranean, a ground line. That's what that is for. 
The chain comes obviously through the guide here. It comes around here. Now this piece of equipment here, this is called the gypsy, the anchor gypsy. It basically, go, it basically has little teeth that locks the chain in place. It goes all the way around and it goes into here. Now you may remember, I said this is the top side of the spurling pipe. So it goes into there, down into the anchor locker, okay? So finally, we have the horse pipe. I'm gonna show you down the horse pipe. Now guys, as you may remember, uh, I mentioned, let me just uh, turn a little light there. You may remember I mentioned, this is the, the, the horse pipe. So basically the anchor will be normally locked in here. The chain goes down here. You can see the anchor down there somewhere. It won't get focused. Anyway, as I mentioned about the jet, the jet comes, you might not see, but it comes out this hole here. So as the anchor is coming up, the jet is putting, you know, uh, seawater against the anchor, cleaning it. So any, any mud from the seabed gets dropped back down to, to the seabed. And this is known as the horse pipe. Furthermore, what we have on here, as you can see, let me just turn that down, is we have the, the two cleats here for attaching our, our bow lines. And then these, where the lines come through, they're called fair leads. And then we've got smaller cleats here, which we use as a stopping line. So what is a stopping line? So what we're gonna do, when we have, you know, winched our lines up to the, 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 the tension that we want, we can't just let it go then tie it on, so then we lose all the tension. So we leave it on the winch here, then we get what's called a stopping line. So you may see behind me, there's a couple of lines there. We wrap those lines around the main line that we've just pulled up. We make sure it's super tight. We tie against this cleat here and then we slowly release the line off the um, winch of here, allowing the pressure to go on the smaller line. We then took the big line around the cleats and then we tie it off. Once it's tied off, we release the pressure off the, um, what's called the stopper line. And that's that. And then the only difference we have here on the port side, as you remember I mentioned earlier, we have the, um, the fire hose and the, um, the nozzle down in the anchor locker. This is where we attach it to. We turn the fire pump on. We've got two fire pumps, a main pump and an emergency pump. And then we just unscrew this, screw the um, fire hose on and away we go. And that's that guys. As always guys, really hope you enjoy today's video. Something a bit more educational for you guys to enjoy and learn a thing or two, I hope. As always, do click that like button. It really does help the channel. If you haven't done already, do subscribe so you don't miss any future wonderful videos. Finally guys, actually, before I go, um, if you don't know already, we're offering you the chance to win a week's vacation here on board Motor Your AWOL with all of your friends and family. Um, all expenses paid for, flights, fuel, food, all covered. What you've got to do is go into the link in the description, the raffle link. The tickets start from £15, which is 20 US dollars. It's really easy to sign up and you could win the dream vacation of a lifetime. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you all next time.